ti, tu por mí. Yo por ti, tu por mí. Yo por ti, tu por mí. Yo por ti, tu por mí. Mami. Thank you guys, we'll be taking some questions now. That's all we Where should I begin? Man upon a mission, still a martyr for the vision. Uh, had to find my voice when them people would they listen. Uh, sacrifice my peace, no my level double digits. Uh, sacrifice my pride, rather die than lose my spirit. Had to take a minute, let my lyrics match my mind frame. Funny how these, how these had me trapped inside a mind state. If I see the morning, I'm just happy I'm alive. Stomach cut from, from that I harbor deep inside. Still a broken glass, ain't no tripping over spilled milk. How many times you fake it just to show them you the real deal? How many you inspire leave you out the conversation? How many, me, me, me? Do it take to be the greatest. Let them take my flesh if it means I feed the nation. Let me keep my feet up and admire my creation. Uh, school of hard knocks, pay my dues and graduate. Uh, come a long way from hopping fences at the station. Pull up my entrance, like my exit. I just came to show face. Wins and losses made me humble, but I'm falling from grace. No more talking about the action when you're running in place. We made something out of nothing, just a regular day. We made something out of nothing, no applause for that. Mama do that every day and no rewards for that. Never tried, it was hard, so unfortunate. Scars heal, even when they say they're permanent I was happy at my lowest cause I learned from it I made hits at my sadness, had to earn from it I might cut the Maserati just to learn in it I might cut the Maserati just to swerve in it Where do I... This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Not long now until kickoff on match day one in the Champions League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Dinamo Kiev up against Arsenal. 
Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me. The start of the Champions League, always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. Match day one in the Champions League, always exciting. And as soon as the teams were drawn, in running towards goal, the net is staring him in the face. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. An Arsenal corner. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Over it comes. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Well, it was the pace on the cross. Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it, otherwise it goes over. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, he plays the game as if the ball's his own. He lends it to other players. He's the glue between the team, between the different departments of the team. Well, that leads to the goal that puts them ahead. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. And now the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. Nketiah, it looks promising. The first goal of the match, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. And they're playing again, and Arsenal are leading. And giving them the gift of possession. Moving forward effectively. I'm not afraid to have a go from long range. Showing ambition to shoot from there. Goalkeeper has it. Really, in this great competition, there's been continuity since season 2003-2004, the same format. Remember, there used to be a second group stage once upon a time, Lee? Well, it did, and simply it didn't work. I think the, uh, the format now is certainly a lot better. It's a bit more exciting, a bit earlier in the competition. It seemed to drag on a bit, that second phase, didn't it? Volodymyr Shepelev. Ruzin. They've given it away. Well, Arsenal have lost the ball here. The hosts have really controlled possession. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly a too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. A wonderful intervention. Karabayev. Nazari Rusin with it. Might really be able to trouble them here. Dangerous looking attack. Lucas Torreira now. Opportunity it is. Still possibilities. Karabayev. Strong play here. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. He succeeds in clearing it. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And here's Saliba, Kieran Tierney. 
Matteo Guendouzi. And they'll get ready for the throw in. The ball with Sidorchuk. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Beautifully timed. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Spurs. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. Lost possession. And the big news confirmed just before the game. Real Madrid have succeeded in getting their man lead. Well, it's a reported fee of around £45 million, Derek. He's definitely worth that sort of money in my book. Good, solid pro. Technically really gifted, too. Caravaggio. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, thumped clear. It's opening up for them. Matteo Guendouzi. And a chance for him on the flank. He has time to play it over. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And fired from the flank. It's still alive. Oh, a goal for Arsenal. It's theirs to lose now. Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play. But he was first to react, and it's in the back of the net. Substitution time it is. So, 2-0 now. Tomas Kenziora. Mikel Duelund. Serhi Sidorchuk. It's all about translating threats into goals. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. An attack full of promise. It comes to absolutely nothing. And firing it into the area. And he's banged it against the woodwork with the header. Well, we're talking inches so, so close with his head. Malin with it. Good looking sequence. Tremendous block. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Played into the center of the box. Corner once more. And over comes the corner. And punched away. Torreira. And the cross into the middle. Foiling them effectively. The cross is on. Torreira. Surely. Simple catch, really. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Gliding through the gears. It's got to be. It's there for him. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. 
And there you go, in the back of the net. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And on the ball, Shaparenko. One minute remaining. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Well cleared away. Nicola Pepe. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Full time and just the start. Arsenal... Time for just a few questions. Thank you for your time. It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. Hopefully it lives up to the... Billing. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. Welcome to the North London rivalry, Tottenham against Arsenal. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith, and this very recently acquired stadium for Spurs is adding a different dimension to the Derby, Alan. It certainly is, and there's no doubt it'll give the Tottenham lads lift. It certainly should, and the Arsenal players have got to contend with that, they've got to cope with it. Came the target. Cleared it well. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Ibrahima Konate plays alongside Dan Axel Zagadou at the back. The referee's going to take action here. Well, sometimes you get the benefit of a doubt early in the game. Maybe not as much as happened uh, years and years ago. But there's no messing about from the referee here. He's seen something he doesn't like. Yellow card early in the game. Yeah, I think the nature of the challenge didn't give the ref too much choice there. As much as you want to give him a warning early on. Well, this is not the sort of league table that we've seen him. Good vision here. To finish it off. And there it is! Well, what a lovely through ball that was, Martin. Perfectly weighted and beautifully finished. So, Arsenal have the lead here. One team's been reduced to ten men at Chelsea. Alan McAnally, bring us up to date. It's a red card for the visitors. They're down to ten men. Thirteen minutes played, it remains 1-1. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went uh, straight to an opponent. Indeedy. Hey, very good tackle. Hey, 
can he finish? Oh, great chance. Push back out into play. He's got it away. An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. They're trying to press it. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. They've opened them up here. And they've bought themselves a bit of time. Neatly intercepted. Here's a chance. And what a vital tackle. But the pressure's still there. Lucas. A bit of a salty forward for Spurs here from a wide position. Bergwijn. Hey. Trying to get the ball in behind. Not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. It's with Grimaldo. Well, let's hear about a goal at Stamford Bridge. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Chelsea. 33 minutes played. 2 1. Oh, many thanks. Shot off. Got to it and made the save comfortably. Yeah, he would have got some stick if that had have found the net. Put the corner in the middle. Here's Torreira. It could be a chance. And he goes at the feet of the attacker. Well, the attacker will feel that's a chance wasted, that, but uh, you've got to give full marks to the keeper. Well, it is a lead that Arsenal have got, and they've worked hard to get it, and they're still having to work hard to keep it. Alan McAnally with a brief <laughs> interruption into our game, and we've interrupted him as well, haven't we? Confirmation for you that Chelsea did score in that game, and they are winning 2-1. Threads it through. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Oh, it's a great goal! Oh, no wonder he goes over to thank the lad who set him up there, because that was a wonderful move. I think they've practised that one on the training ground. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Now Rosbeto Dorado. Added time coming up, there'll be two minutes of it. A minimum of two minutes of added time. And the referee is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. Well, they've done well in the first half. Second half underway for Arsenal. Well, then it goes. Pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. In the Manchester City game, news of a goal, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bristol City, 49 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Read the intentions. Tottenham given the throw. Take a note of the time and place of this game on EA Sports, of course. Watch it with us, the EFL Cup fixture. Spurs will be facing Nottingham Forest. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. One or two options now in forward areas for them. The chance is here. It's a fine tackle, but it hasn't cleared the danger. It's good play, this. The opposition can't get at them when they're keeping the ball. Has to score! Top performance from a top team, and they've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. Well, what a team effort this was. I think all 11 players got a touch at some time or other. What a goal. Well, we're underway again, and you just wonder how many more they can get today. And what about Arsenal's next game? 
Yeah, they're playing Everton in the next match. And I think it's a one-goal game here either way. Promising forward play from them again. Poor in possession, Tottenham Hotspur. Well, our reporter Alan McAnally is at the Etihad and he's got news of a goal. It's a third goal for Manchester City. 63 minutes played, 3-1. To finish it off. Oh, that's great defending. Alan McAnally there with a very brief report, a bit briefer than he wanted, I think. Confirmation for you that Manchester City did score in that match, and they are winning now 3-1. Yeah, quite often you see those kind of stats. Arsenal controlling possession, and it's been a really impressive performance, the way they've used the width of the pitch. They've swung some really good crosses in, the strikers have been on top of the game. Very exciting news, isn't it, for the buying club that the deal has been completed. Yeah, and I've seen a lot of this player, and uh, I think he's going to be a, a really big signing for the team concerned. He's a good player. Alan McAnally's got news of incisive pass. Is he in here? Off the bar. Back into play. Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Well, I'm sure he'll be looking back at this later tonight because uh, these kind of volleys, they're not easy, and he executed it superbly. So they restart again, a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. It's a big game involving Manchester City. Alan McAnally is reporting on it for us. I'm sorry I had to cut him short. The score is now 4-1. Sad day for Spurs and their supporters. Yeah, I know they were getting a bit of stick off some of those fans who uh, weren't expecting this. Untidy work. And from the Spurs sidelines, a substitute is going to come on. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Well, that will be the goalkeeper's ball as they tried to get a runner in behind the opposition's defensive line. Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Trying the possession game unsuccessfully at the moment. Won the ball capably with that tackle. Nicola Pepe. Well, he's cleared the danger. Substitution for top we are going to see substitution now. Here's Bayerin. To be replaced by number now Lucas Torreira. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum... You see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide, sadly, for him. Just one minute left on the clock. And they get it away. Intercepted well. And the whistle's gone for the last time today. Well, it's turned out good vision here. Time for a few questions. No further questions.